YouTube family, what's going on? This is Mark from Mark from Mark. Hopefully you're having a phenomenal time. Um, so here's the thing. It is currently uh, about 9.45 um, here. It's on a, a Sunday. And what I want you to know is that uh, this is just, this is like testimonial, I guess. Somebody said, you should go live or you should, you know, you, you should go Instagram live or Facebook live. You know, let's slow down a little bit. <laughs> I'm not really that, uh, you know, cool on the technology yet. I'm Obviously, I just got to YouTube. So, you know, let's just pipe it down a bit. All right. So here, here's the here's the video. So it, if you haven't noticed what my team and I are doing is that we're we're recording three types of videos. Uh, the first video is my journey as a doctorate student um, and all of the struggles that go into that or any review of the lit of any literature review that I'm doing um, I, I attempt to um, go over that with you. Um, bring you into my life as a, a, a doctoral uh, candidate um, and you know the life of you know not just the good because when you're in school and you're doing something that you, that you've never done before it is difficult it's challenging it, it's not you know it causes you to have to grapple with concepts so the first time I went through a bachelor's degree it was tough. I mean, I think my first semester, my GPA was about a 1.7. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Uh, for my students, a 1.7 would be like a D average. I almost lost my scholarship. I had to really buckle down and grind so that I can be successful, but I was 18 at the time. Um, my first master's, when I got into my first master's, it was, it was tough. By the time I took my second master's, it was kind of, I won't say it was a breeze, but it was a lot easier because I, I just came out of a master's program. Um, now that I'm in this doctor program, uh, it's a lot tougher. The concepts that they're asking me about um, is, is it's challenging me to look at things from a different perspective. And it's ch it, it challenges you to do things that aren't what per se was my was my norm in education nevertheless so first video that we create is about um my journey um and really that's what started the youtube page it was to document my journey but as different followers have started to come along it has um kind of expanded a little bit because trying to make sure that what I'm saying is relevant to the people that are watching. There's no reason for me to have people following me if nothing that I'm saying is um, impactful to them. So um, you're like, man, just get to this. What's the second video about? <laughs> Make me lose my train of thought. So the, the first video is about my journey as a doctor student. We know that you said that four times already. <laughs> Uh, the second the second video is for parents and students. Um, well, you, you might want to say, well, but a doctoral video can be dubbed as parents and, and students too, possibly. Um, but, you know, that second video is, is really for, you know, my K through 12, really not K through 12, more like middle school to... 12th grade students and parents trying to give you some motivation and something that you can use uh, so that you can be successful at that level being that, that that's the level I work at in my profession and then trying to give parents uh, some insight on you know some of the things that administrator might be thinking or some things that just might be useful to you and young people some internal strategies that uh, you may want to use that uh, I mentor a lot of people um, and especially a lot of young uh, minority men Latino African American I mentor a lot of them in their daily life after they graduate from high school 
And, you know, a lot of them I bring to my house. We'll, you know, uh, cook dinner for them and we, we'll sit there and chat. And one thing I think is important, um, you know, especially for young people who, you know, may not, your real father may not be around or, you, you know, you don't have an older brother, you don't have anybody. So ideally this is me to put on a different hat to act like a uh, a quasi mentor, big brother, father figure through YouTube for some folks that, you know, we may not have that opportunity to develop that relationship. So, um, this was, you know, uh, this opportunity. Um, and then the third type of video is really just opening up my life and things that I might be dealing with on, I won't say a personal level, but things that help me grow. Um, again, um, for that young person that, you know, needs a mentor, but I might not be able to get to him face to face because ultimately that's why I decided to get into this profession of education is so that I can help, uh, young men and young women reach their fullest potential and be successful and get a high school diploma. I think high school diplomas are crucial, uh, for, the success it, it lays the foundation for your success um, so this is why I'm always pushing my students so right now this will be a journey video this will be a video about my doctoral studies um, and one thing that we're I'm writing a paper on my research is and it's it's very new right now in a sense it's new to me uh, it has been researched and studied to the gills I think um, but it's my passion. It's something that I'm passionate about because of my background, because of things that I know, uh, or I have experience. And one thing is, so my study is about strategies to assist, um, African American males to graduate from high school. That is a broad topic, but it's something that I'm interested in. Um, I think that there's a lot of research done on the negative effects of, you know, what African-American boys, a young men uh, are doing in school. Um, some of the researchers say that, you know, African-American boys are suspended at, you know, a higher rate than any other um, population in the country. Um, perceptions of African-American boys are um, they're oftentimes, you know, put in special education classes uh, sooner than any other uh, population in the country. Um, and this is just what research is saying when I'm reading. Um, the graduation rate for African-American boys are, uh, you know, under 50%. So the achievement gap between African-American boys and Latino and, and, and white boys um, are, you know, is, is significant um, and you know so they're overly suspended um, higher rate of special ed um, higher rate uh, a lower rate of graduation rate and then when you don't graduate all the negative effects that happen so my my research is to see if uh, and it might change uh, my research may get more specific and more specified as I go through this process uh, in this journey <clears throat> but my research is looking at what strategies are there any are there, are there any go-to strategies to help african-american boys to graduate from high school uh my study will be qualitative uh it'd be a, a qualitative search uh research uh, qualitative simply means if i were to make it into the most simplistic terms is when you actually do a discussion with an individual where quantitative is you're looking at hard numbers and you're looking at the data piece. Um, so I am going to do a qualitative research. Now, currently in class, we're asked to write a uh, 10 page paper and start to look at um, my research topic and look at synthesized um, journal articles. Simply what that means is you're taking 10 journal articles and you're combining them and seeing where they have similarities, what actually mesh and what doesn't mesh. 
it is currently a struggle for me to do that right now because I'm having a hard time synthesizing the research and finding a connection to them. Now, it's Sunday. The paper is due on Friday. Um, I think I only have two paragraphs written. So, when I bring you into my world here in this journey, um, I have to practice all the things that I preach about, about being resilient and persevering and working hard and giving 100%. But let me say this. Although it's hard and although I'm not have 10 pages and I got two paragraphs done and I'm still trying to understand and I'm grappling with the research and trying to figure it out. Here's one thing I've learned about education. Okay, here's the thing. I can feel sorry for myself and give up and then say, I just can't do it, blah, blah, blah. And I can worry about, well, if I turn it in and it's not the best, then I'm going to get a bad grade. That, I think that's what hurts a lot of people. They're so afraid of the bad grade that they don't do anything at all. So afraid of fail, failing that they don't do anything. What I've learned is I give it my 100% best effort and then I let the chips fall where they may. I ask for help. Uh, I go see the writing tutors. But education is about learning. And when you're learning like anything, you're going to fall, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to get back up. But it's a journey, and the journey is about the experience and understanding and getting better at it. So with me, although I'm two paragraphs in, and it's about nine, you know, about close to 10 o'clock now on a Sunday, my laptop's here. My journal articles are here and we're going to keep grinding and we're going to keep working to put my head down and I just keep working. So if that helps you know that as I'm doing my work, it's still a struggle for me. It's still difficult and that you're going to grapple with whatever level you're at, bachelor's, master's, high school, elementary, it's new concepts you're going to struggle with, it. but keep working. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dream. Keep working and be successful. Until next time, if this video has helped you, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, throw some comments in the mix. Until next time, this is Mark from Marks and Marks. Peace.